The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 168. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women finding their inner journey to self-confidence five days a week. Visit our blog at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I am your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have an amazing lady on today. She is a co-founder of Wing Chun Kung Fu Academy, so watch out for her. <laughs> and she's also preparing to create um, a brand new launch, which is called the Ashori Co. And she'll probably uh, elaborate more about it. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Kang Vang. Kang, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. Hi, Sheena. I'm doing great. Thank you. Yes. So again, as Sheena mentioned, my name is Kang. Um, I'm a mother who's blessed with four beautiful children, and I've left the corporate world about two years uh, now, and it's allowed me to be able to homeschool my children. As Gina mentioned, I did co-found a Wing Chun Kung Fu Academy school. I do have 16 years of direct sales, and with those experiences, it's helped me prepare to create a short go where I get to work with women around the world who's ready to change their mindset, make that commitment to design the life that they, um, and create the freedom that they desire. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And, you know, I'm pretty yeah. excited for you to launch a short I'm sure it's going to be very successful. And Kang, what's your cultural background? So my cultural background is Hmong, and I am the first generation born in America. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that little tidbit with us. And, you know, what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? My favorite self-confidence quote is, always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and twice as beautiful as you'd ever imagine. That's the first time I've actually heard that quote, and I love it, right? Because, you know, all those things are true. It's just really what we tell ourselves every day is what's really stopping us from becoming the person we want to be and becoming the person that we're meant to be, especially, you know, cultures in, in like Asian women, you know, we're so programmed to just do what we're told, right? I mean, it's it's just like go to school, get married, and never rock the boat. <laughs> so, you know, this is, this is a great quote. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. And it, it acts as a great reminder. And I actually have it plastered on my, my bathroom mirror because every morning, you know, it, it makes a great reminder that, you know what, I can do anything that I have my mind set off, set to. Yeah, totally. And it, it really is a great reminder, especially if you have those days when you're down, you know, this can be a great thing to lift you up and just keep on doing what you're doing. So thanks for sharing that. And in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? You know, for me, for self, to have self-confidence, you must love yourself and, you know, know that you're worthy to be able to achieve anything and have anything that you want in life. And I believe that we all hold the power to be a confident woman. And it's that choice that we make. So we either choose to be confident or so, yeah. I love it. And it's true. It's confidence is a choice, right? You know, a lot of people feel like they need to be confident. And when when you say you need something, it's just like you can't control that. But when you say, you know, you choose to be confident, that means you are taking charge of your life, your destiny, and you're going to go out there and do it regardless of what anyone thinks, regardless of the challenges that come across. You're going to go go out there regardless. So, I mean, it's I, I love that you said, you know, you can choose. It's a choice. Right. And it's not like Correct. something something you need. It's something you have and it's something to choose to take action on it. So thanks for sharing that awesome definition. And, you know, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? You know, before I discovered my own self-confidence, I had a lot of self-doubt. And in turn, it, it turns out to be a lot of self-sabotaging. You know, I, I, I was like that, too. I mean, you know, it's just like they say you are your own worst enemy. And that's so true, right? Because yes. you tell this story in your head like, you know, I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not pretty enough. Who's going to listen to me? You know, all those things go in your head thinking like, you know, it's really true, but it's not right. You're just it's just the stories you tell in your head. So it's, you know, I'm sure a lot of women go through this, right? Like the self-sabotaging, especially you know, when we see things in the media, like, you know, the perfect body or the, you know, what, what it means to be a beautiful woman, and they just have these like false perceptions of it, it really can, mm -hmm. can hurt us, right? So exactly. It, what was like yeah. your aha moment when you realize, you know, you are beautiful, you can go out there and do what you want. And you know, the, the self sabotage started to diminish, you know, bit by bit. So my aha moment was when I came to realize that I'm responsible for my own happiness and it's not someone else's responsibility to make me happy or, you know, to feel successful or to feel beautiful. 
And that's when I knew it, that it's a choice that I get to make that determines my journey in life. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And I love that you said it was your choice. It was nobody else's choice but yours, because especially, you know, being an, an Asian woman, we're, we're prone to live other people's perceptions, right? I mean, mm-hmm. you know, they want us to live a certain way, whether it's our family or society, especially like countries in like China, where they pretty much program women to just go get married. And that's like the ultimate life life plan for for a a woman in in asia right which is which is not right i mean if you want to get married it's great but there's so many things more out there to do like travel and you know have a life purpose so you know after this realization what was your life like what's your life like now so definitely you know i believe that self-confidence is is a work in progress and um knowing that i'm imperfect but then i'm worthy to worthy to create the life that i love and that, that i get to design my own freedom and it's given me the courage to not give up when life gets tough because it's not, you know, it's not always just going to be that perfect, you know, image and whatnot. But it's given me the will to also want to help other women out there who are struggling because of it. I love it. And it's so true, right? I, you know, self-confidence is something we'll always work on for the rest of our lives. And every day it's not going to be like rainbows and unicorns, right? We're always going exactly. to have life, you know, challenge us, right? And that's a good thing. It, it shows how strong we can be, you know, how much we can overcome these obstacles and become a better person and show others what's what's possible, right? I mean, yes. I like to take every situation that I have in my life and see, you know, and say to myself, what what good can come out of this, right? No matter how bad the situation is, something good will always come out. And, you know, if we see life in that perspective, I mean, it just makes it, you know, so much better, right? It just makes it a lot lighter. And and yeah, so I mean, thanks for, you know, sharing what sharing that part. And, you know, to the woman who's listening to your interview, you know, she may be in her own journey to self confidence, what would be that one tip you would give to her? You know, what I would leave with with any woman out there who's on their journey to self confidence is that know that you're beautiful, both inside and out and never stop believing in yourself and to surround yourself with positive energy and by connecting yourself with community who will uplift you to thrive it will help you on this journey and when that road to self-confidence you know when it gets tough know that you have another sister out there standing strong and fighting for you because i believe in you i love it and that that's great and you know i think a lot of women forget that right like they're not alone There's always, you know, a great support group out there, whether it's listening to this podcast, whether it's joining a women's group, whether it's surrounding yourself with great women around you. You know, I want women to realize they're not alone in this journey. So many women, you know, struggle with this on a daily basis. And this was one of the reasons why I created this podcast, because I knew, you know, there wasn't really a platform out there yet. And, you know, if they say if you want to be the change and you have, you know, you if you want change, you have to be the change. Right. So, you know, I, I believe, you know, there's, 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 there's groups out there that can help you do that, lift you up, because I believe surrounding yourselves with the right people is so important, right? Because they say you're the average yes. of, the, of the five people you hang out with. So it's really important, you know, who you choose to hang out with and um, put your energy to, right? So, yes, that's key. Yeah. So thanks for sharing mm-hmm. that great tip. You're welcome. And Kang, you know, if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more of what you do, or just want to get to know you in general, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? So they can connect me um, on my website, and that's www.ashoraco.com. And I'm sure you'll have this in your show notes. So, And then on social media, for Facebook, they can reach me at Ashori Company. On Instagram is King Vang. And for Twitter is King K Vang. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing that, Kang. And to our listeners, if you also want to connect with Kang, you can also head on over to the thetowofselfconfidence.com and look up Kang's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I really just want to thank Kang for taking the time to share her story with us on self-confidence and the tips that she's provided. So thank you so much. You're welcome, Sheena. Thank you. And to the community. Awesome. It was an honor to have you on. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of another amazing woman's journey to self-confidence. And we will catch you later. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you for joining us on the Tao of Self-Confidence. Visit the Tao of Self-Confidence.com for links to everything we chatted about today, as well as killer resources, gifts, and so much more. Start your inner journey to self-confidence today. 